Yo, what's up everybody? Llama here and I've got some NBA 2K14 for the Xbox One. So we're going to start out here in the second half since this game was like uh, 35 minutes long. I don't want to put the full thing in here, but the second half is pretty uh, short since I don't think I played too much of the fourth quarter. Just uh, all of the third, but we're getting beat up pretty hard from the uh, Bucks here. It's 52-40 and I think we were down by like 20-something um, in the second quarter. My dude's still on the bench. As you can see, he's not shooting well at all. 11 points. I uh, know his sister rebounds, which... I have a lot of trouble with rebounds in this game. I get like no offensive or defensive rebounds, but um, my shooting is really good. They're all in the 80s from like mid range up close, and then even from three points, it's like 60 something, which I really never take threes because they're never going to go in for my guy. I usually just try to uh, pass it and get the assist to somebody. I've got Corver on my team who's really good at three pointers, so just try to get him the ball when he's out there with me. But um, yeah, my player's still on the bench. He's a uh, six man, I guess. They. Didn't put him in the starting lineup yet. His overall is like 75, so his offensive stats are really high. Like I said, all his shooting, it's just his defensive stats that kind of suck. And then um, his like stamina, speed, and all that stuff, I haven't touched it yet. I just been, uh, I was working on offense, and then I went to defense. I didn't even know there was like three or four different stat menus. I just saw, I knew there was a defensive one, but I didn't know you had to upgrade your like stamina and all that shit. But you can see, makes good ones from mid range there. His layup still kind of struggle a little bit, which is kind of weird because his layup overall was as high as I could get it. It's like 85. And then um, 80, there's like a few different layup ones. But yeah, I'm not too knowledgeable on basketball. Um, I don't watch it at all, but this game is really freaking fun to play. I think you can get it for like 40 bucks now, which is kind of a, kind of a steal for this game. It looks pretty uh, crazy. I don't think it looks anything amazing compared to current gen consoles, but um, cutscenes and stuff look nice for it. Uh, I was going to get NHL, but it's not on next gen consoles, which is kind of weird, I guess. Uh, not enough people are hockey fans to where they'd sell enough money or it'd be worth it to uh i don't know what that block was there for me but ended up taking a nice foul there um but yeah apparently i guess they didn't have enough people who were gonna buy it to uh hire people to program it for next gen so hopefully we'll get uh nhl 14 or 15 whatever the next one is on uh on xbox one because i want to play that game see how good it looks on it and then this is like these, I think these games were more designed for current gen consoles and kind of ported over to next gen, but they still look pretty good. So I'm waiting for a next gen exclusive like Titanfall, something like that. Forza 5 already looks pretty insane, but I think Titanfall is going to be the game um, that makes like an Xbox One worth getting. And then um, I think MLB The Show will be it for me for PS4, although I probably won't get that um, this year. But um, who was it? 2K canceled their basket or their baseball games, which I kind of wanted to see what they'd look like on uh, PS4 and Xbox One because they look like uh, Atari games on the 360 and PS3. So I was like, maybe they can actually get the graphics right because the gameplay aren't too bad on it. It's just those games look so retarded. I think it kind of draws everyone off and it shows like a million times better. So if you get a PS3, that was the way to go. But if you're stuck on just Xbox, um, 2K baseball wasn't horribly painful but it just looked retardedly bad so um they're done with that so we'll see if microsoft makes their own version of baseball i think they had one before and they stopped producing it similar to like how uh 2k used to make awesome football games that were only 20 bucks and ea was like oh we can't compete with that so we're just gonna buy out the um nfl license so no other companies can make uh nfl games or use nfl rosters that's why they have um or there was, it was like NFL hits or something they used to have back in the day. And they tried to make a few more of them, but they had to use like made up names, made up leagues and team names. So those games never really caught on. But I think EA's exclusivity uh, deal with uh, the NFL is up pretty soon here in like a year or two. So hopefully uh, that doesn't get re-signed. We can see some 2K football, but yeah, 2K, 2K, eh, 2K basketball is pretty fun. I didn't name my guy here. I um, When I created him, I apparently didn't scroll down to change all his... Uh, attributes and just change his height and stuff like that so his name is uh gabriel caffey i guess that's the default one and then this is kind of like the default look they gave the dude i don't think i no, maybe i did change his hair yeah i did change his hair because i gave the dude some facial hair he had like the uh douchey thin line beard which always look retarded that's for people who like can't quite grow facial hair yet but they get enough just to get like the line going it's like those ones always look kind of retarded uh, at least I think so, but, um, so I gave him, like, a full beard, which is, uh, more than I can really grow, but, um, <laughs> let's see here, yeah, I got 15 points now, we're still down, 62-47, but 15 points and assists, trying to get my, uh, field goal percentage up, it's up to, uh, 41, which I guess is the average in the NBA, getting it around, like, 40 to 45 percent, I would say was average, probably 50 is, uh, really high, that's something like LeBron or somebody would shoot, but you can see my guy's passing is not good at all, I didn't um, up his passing stat yet, i just been working on shooting and stuff like that, like I said, but 
probably like 20 games, 30 games into the season so far. And uh, the Atlanta Hawks are um, god awful, I think, for like 10 and 20 or so. That even might be um, like on the uh, high side. I don't even think we won 10 games yet. We're probably like um, under 10. And then we've got at least 20 losses. So there's no way we're going to make the playoffs. Um, my player can demand a trade, but he's not even like a uh, starter yet. So I think it'd be kind of stupid to demand a trade right now. I want to try to get his stats up. Um, maybe let him play in Atlanta since they're not one of the greatest teams. But um, see if you can get a starter role in there. And then if I want to get traded next season, I'll try it. See if I can. Um, I just don't want to get traded to a worse team. Like I'll have to play for um, like the Raptors or something like that. Or uh, even the Celtics. I'd actually not mind going there if they traded me there. Or um, Cleveland. But there's just a bunch of crappier teams. I, I would rather play with the uh, Hawks. But we've got, uh, we've got the Heat in our division. So it's not like we're going to ever win that. So I probably will uh, request or demand a trade or whatever you whatever it's called in this game in like a season but um yeah i found the best way to get the virtual points to rank up your guy quicker is to win which we're not doing that at all and then just complete all your little uh dynamic goals that they give you so if it's like you get to make like four out of your next five shots or something just try to do that um because you get that and then your overall player grade it kind of helps you a little bit i'm usually getting like b minuses or b's i think is the highest i get i really don't think i ever get an a in it but you get like 50 points for that but you get 100 uh virtual currency for like completing each of the goals and then like another 50 if you win so there my teammate blocks it i was thinking i got the block there but teammate blocks it he gets fouled and uh, ends up making that one so he'll go to the line for three points we're still getting raped here by 17 points as you can see and then they pull me out here Bring me back in with six seconds left. It becomes a one point game, which I didn't even realize what the score was here, but they're just like, all right, make your next shot. And I just saw that for my goal. So go to lay it up. And now we end up getting it in. So we take the lead with 2.9 seconds left. Like I said, I didn't even know I took the lead until after I saw it. I just wanted to uh, try to get that goal done. And um, somehow he makes that layup because he misses those like seven out of 10 times. But we get lucky here and I probably should have taken some more time off the clock, but they just throw a long three up. It doesn't even uh, have a chance to go and they could have probably passed it to a guy and took a uh, half court shot there, but they decided to take one from way in their own zone. So that doesn't go. So we will end up um, barely winning this game, 88, 87. I have no clue how he came back, but I'll take it. Now you can see, get um, yeah, 75 points for the goal and then 50 for the other one. You get another 50 for winning. My difficulty multiplayer, or multiplier is horrible because i suck so bad at this game i have to put it on like one of the easier difficulties to play i can't even play it on like i think all stars is like a joke i can't even play on that i just get destroyed and i can't make any shots i think i'm on like the second one up or something but it'll go to my little post game press conference here after uh dude in the locker room is like yeah nice game winning shot because i don't think my player got one yet so they're like yeah do that and then you gotta go to a little press conference this is kind of it reminds me of those old school like wwf games where you do like the uh career or whatever they have all the cutscenes and shit in it so uh my player is pretty cool this game is fun so uh check it out if you don't have it already rent it if there's anywhere you can even run video games anymore i think redbox you can rent them i don't know but it's a guys more that's will be coming with uh maybe some more forza i don't know that's kind of boring to watch but then some more uh call of duty ghost and then a lot more uh 2k if people like this so uh that's it all right bye. but when all is said and done this is going to be nothing more than an insignificant note on the list of my career highlights so I'm going to enjoy it for now, but there's plenty more where that came from. You feel me? Greetings, this is your captain speaking. We've been cleared for landing into Oklahoma City. We should...